Hello Taurus, this is your Sagittarius season report for December. So your song was Angel of Mine by Monica. So we know that's all about someone who, you know, has this love interest. It could be someone they're in a committed relationship with or someone that they're courting. And, you know, you just feel really good about this. It's like, ooh, you know, I got... There was someone saved for me, like, especially for me. Um, and, you know, Taurus, just be patient because people are very patient with you. They're very forgiving with you. And, you know, sometimes Taurus is they're, they're very short fused and they're like, yeah, no, goodbye. So just make sure you're patient with others as, as they are patient with you. All right, so for the heart of the matter, you have two of cups, very fitting. I mean, you had angel of mine. So the two of cups is a card of equal give and take in a partnership. So I feel like, you know, Taurus, you're all about luxury, treating yourself, just, you know, luxury. So I feel like, um, you know, if you are not, um, if like if someone like if you're if you're barking orders at someone like oh I want this 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 or um yeah I want this 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 and this and say for instance they give you 90% of the things and then this one time they say I can't do it you know you're blowing a fuse you're going off like what do you mean no like da, 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 like just real like a temper tantrum um you know I get it you know, people want to be spoiled. I get it. Um, but at the same time, that could turn people off. You know, look, not right now. I give you majority of what you want. Relax. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is, ooh, this is the meeting of one of, ooh, two people who are, two people who are lighthearted, right? So, um, you know, Everybody has like a, uh, a, a, a soul, like a soul tribe, right? These are, uh, people who are, who are lighthearted, right? You meet them and feel like y'all been friends for 80 years and you just met this person. So I feel like, you know, for some Tauruses, this person is lighthearted. Um, you know, everybody has their stuff that comes with them. Just determine what bullshit that you are willing to deal with. Because you got some bullshit with you, Taurus. Stop playing. Okay? Um, so, yeah, I like this. Love to see the two of cups. Romance, you know. <clears throat> we are put here to love. Okay? At the root of everything, there should be love. With your job, your kids, your mate, your family. I mean, well, family, you know, people... Family members got their stuff with them. But at the root, at the like, at, yeah, at the epicenter of everything, love should be present. Because when it's not, <clears throat> that's when you have confusion, you have fallouts, you have mess. It's just, ugh, you don't want that. So, I like that. For that to be at the heart of the matter of your reading. Okay? So, your outside influences are the goddess of pentacles or the queen of pentacles. And you have the fool. So I'm going to start with the left and make my way to the right. Okay. So with this goddess of pentacles, um, this is someone who has a very nurturing nature, right? If you look at this card, everything around her is growing, right? So <clears throat> I feel like some Tauruses are being very mindful of their environment and who they have around them. And, you know, just cutting out a lot of things, um, like activities and people that no longer serve them. Because we know that Tauruses love to be um, around people. They love to be, you're, they're like, they're really people, a people person, um, you know. And so I feel like some Tauruses are recognizing that, like, you're not good company for me. I'm always pouring into you when you need, like, when you fall short on the bill, you can always call on me. Um, I just call 444, so some of my Tauruses may be seeing that number um, a lot. But <clears throat> with this um, Goddess of Pinnacle card, 
I feel like you are able, I feel like your finances are in order, right? This is, and this may not be for all Tauruses, but you know, Tauruses usually get to a bag. I feel like, yeah, um, your finances are in order and now it's time for you to plant those seeds with a, with a relationship. Um, and you don't have to be so committed to work where you like, oh, fuck, fuck love. I got a paycheck or I got a bag. You can have both. Taurus, don't limit yourself. How dare you? The creator is not limiting you. Why are you limiting, limiting yourself from love because of failed experiences, right? Because of you not setting proper boundaries. Stop playing. Love is your birthright. Abundance is your birthright. Love is encompassed in that. Stop playing Taurus, please. Um, but yeah, there are butterflies in the um in the background. Um, and I just feel like there's a lot of prosperity coming in a different form of abundance, right? So I feel like someone could be making you happy. So I feel like you might be experiencing more happiness. That's abundance. Don't feel guilty for that. Um, people have their things with them. Just know who, you know, whose bullshit you're willing to deal with. Um, and then, baby, the fool. So you need to take a chance on love. I feel like you are so focused on finances. Finances, 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 finances. Okay? The money is going to be there, Taurus. But everybody wants a companion. That's why we're put on this earth to have someone to connect with, form relationships with. And now, Taurus, we know you got about five boyfriends. Or if you're a man, you got about six girlfriends. If everybody cool with it, do your thing. But if you want one person, don't settle for the society norms of, you know, oh, niggas ain't shit, bitches ain't shit. No. It's the ones that you choose. Okay? What you seek, seeks you. <laughs> Hello, somebody. All right? You might have to date outside of your norm. And boom. All that security that you need, the trust, the, it's all there. It's all there. Like Jeezy, okay? The money all there. The love all there. Boom. You good. Um, so, yeah, the fool is saying, basically, take risks when it comes to um, to starting something new with someone. I feel like some Tauruses are closed off. Like, it's like, yeah, I ain't, I ain't, you know, we can go out on a date, but I ain't really paying you no mind. Love on purpose. Be intentional about who you're dating and who you have around you, Taurus. Okay. So that concludes your reading. I'm going to do your clarification cards. Hmm. Okay. So you have true love. Okay. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. And know that sometimes romances are for, for a season. This might be your bae. For two years, and then it's okay. We 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 talk to you know different people to gain experiences and to figure out what we don't, what we do and don't like. And then your last card, playfulness. Um, it says to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So go do something that you used to do when you were a kid, whether that's bungee jump, whatever. Do that with your partner. Um, and then also. It will be great for some Tauruses to um, just have some some me time where it's just you. You're not focused on fulfilling anybody else's needs. You are just thinking about you. Um, maybe go to set up a spa day. I don't know. Whatever. However you can create stillness in your life. And that concludes your reading. You can find information for love donations down below. Um, and you can, um, access my social media handles below as well. Thank you.